This is Twit. Apple, uh, it says, this is interesting. CNBC found this uh, tidbit in Apple's security guide, the iOS security guide, which Apple puts out every year or so. In past years, the security guide kind of hinted that they were using Amazon Web Services and Azure for iCloud storage. This most recent security guide says it's Google's cloud replacing yeah. Amazon and Microsoft. I, I, I couldn't get excited. I mean, I, as far as I understand, Apple just does this the way they, oh, T, you know, Taiwan Semiconductor is going to make the A9 and then right. Samsung's going to make the A10. They take competitive bids. They try to get the best rates and they try to get the best storage that they can. And if that is Sam, if that is Google one year and Amazon the next or Microsoft, they'll they'll go if someone makes them a better deal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm that, sure this, it's, this is, it's absolutely bidding and competition because, you know, who wouldn't want... And Google's coming on hard because they're not... Google has not traditionally been in those conversations. A lot right. of them are still about Microsoft Azure and Amazon Web Services, and Google is competing hard for that. So if they made Apple a deal, they're going to go. We should, I yep. should probably mention at this point, Google Cloud Services and Amazon Web Services are both advertisers uh, and, <laughs> and from time to time on our network. Uh, yep. I, don't, I, I, I use all of them myself. But yeah. This, this, this is why this sort of sports team and, uh, uh, mentality is just so useless when yeah. you're trying to say, oh, well, Apple is the top of everything. Oh, Samsung's the best at this. So, yeah, you know what? Apple always, for every component, they make the best decision they can possibly make for this product and for its users. So it is going to be chips from a whole bunch of different manufacturers. And when they decide to do their own silicon, it's not because that they are thumbing their nose at, uh, at Qualcomm or somebody else. It's because they see an opportunity that is that they are leaving on the table because they don't have they don't control control that part of the experience uh and but, but it certainly is a good uh, a good indication for google they really are uh they are rolling the dice very very hard on being the infrastructure that every other company wants to rely on to power all of their services so when you see google you, you see the the numbers google, facebook is not in trouble but you see some troubling early signs of how people are disengaging from facebook and given that right now people only interact with facebook through an app that gives them access to a social network long term that's a problem for facebook whereas uh google when they have their engagement is up because they are people are engaging in all kinds of different google services that patch into everything else what everything else there is and they're also making sure that in the future cloud services uh, are going to be a competitive thing that Google offers. Uh, uh, machine learning services are, again, another thing that uh, that uh, is offered competitively by Google. They're working so hard on making sure that the entire world, when they are running uh, AI and machine learning models, they are using uh, Google services in order to create that. So this is what this is why Google is probably going to be <laughs> alongside Apple in the next five years and a lot of other companies, even Facebook, could suddenly be holding on to a lot of very valuable personal information and they're in a position where they need to start paying off dividends for people and they start looking at, you know what? They had, you know, and, and <laughs> our users did click through an agreement that says that we could sell whatever we want for whatever reason. We just never thought we'd be that desperate. So that's another difference between Google and Facebook.